Okay, cool. I I think this sounds pretty good, so here we are. Oh, whoops, my phone. <laughs> I was watching a cooking recipe. Hey, so yes, it is me. Um, we're here. Yes, I'm making a podcast. And yes, I currently am not wearing a shirt. But other than that, I've, uh, here we are. I've... I've been thinking about doing this for it was it's I've been contending with it. I've been contending for with this doing a whole podcast thing for a while because it's the whole joke is that oh every white guy's got a podcast. But I was like shit. I might as well throw my hat in the ring, you know. Um so the whole idea here is that I I kind of want to make this I I'd like to aim for I don't want to aim for like an hour cuz I I don't think my content is really worth an hour maybe it's special events um special occasions i don't know i haven't really decided yet uh but i'm trying to aim for like 20 minutes 30 minutes um i I, i'd go as low as like 15 but i don't know about any lower than that so you got me for a good couple of minutes and uh let's chit chat so I've been listening to a lot of um, new music recently. It's not like new music in the sense that it's brand new, like if it hasn't just come out, but music that I don't listen to. So I've been listening to Extreme Ways by Moby. It's It came up on a playlist that someone sent me. I don't know who or where or where the playlist is or what was even on the playlist, but I saw I heard this song and I thought it was super, super fucking cool. I thought it was a really interesting, like, sound profile, I guess you could say, because it was, it's, it, it's got this kind of feeling behind it, like you're lurking in some sort of back alley, like, doing some dirty deeds and all that, you know, and I kind of dig it, so I just wanted to shout that song out. I'm doing my song of the day, um, and it was the song of the day for a few weeks ago, because I, I I just no, it was a few days ago when I record this at least. I don't know when compared to posting. It doesn't really matter. But um I'm not used to this whole talking thing and I know I'm gonna have a bitch of a time editing because I hate listening to my own voice. That's why I, a lot of my videos it's not I don't have a lot of speaking roles. If they do it's small stuff. I I, I guess aside from some of my funnier videos, like the G Fuel one. Um so I'm nervous I because I haven't done this kind of style of video before, but I'd love to get something weekly out that isn't horror content like I've been doing, like the I'm doing with the the VHS, uh, box of VHS videos, which I, I'm loving. I love the series, and I'm really proud of how it's turning out, a lot of the videos. Some of them I, I, I think I'm, are sort of just filler, but that's why I've given myself these next few weeks to sort of work on a, a nice longer video. I'm aiming for like five, maybe even 15, maybe even 10, 20 minutes. I don't know. I'm aiming for something just different compared to what I always do, which is like repetitious horror content that people have seen before. But I see it also as a chance to sort of work on speaking for public. It's not just public speaking, but just the speaking thing and I'd like the chance to sort of try out a new form of content and this is it um but you know uh, we 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 work we push forward and yada something 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 inspirational something something you know Again, like I'm saying, I'm not good at the speaking thing, so this this whole podcast situation might turn out to be a bit of a mistake, but it is a mistake I'm willing to try out because, you know, I love listening to m me some podcasts, so I, I know that people will listen. Um, my current favorite podcast is by the guy that did... Um, Midnight Gospel, if anybody knows what that is. It was a thing on Netflix. It's really cool, very trippy. I was watching it last night. Oh, speaking of watching things, that's something I've been wanting to talk about a lot recently. I, I don't really have a lot of people to chit chat with like this, so 
forgive me for enjoying the opportunity to. <laughs> but um, I've been thinking a lot about how I watch things recently because uh, contrary to popular belief, and especially because I'm, I'm known as a movie guy in my sort of circles, uh, contrary to popular belief, I'm not good at watching series. The only sh the last show that I watched all the way through front to back. Oh man, what was it? I, I think it was Mandalorian. But even now, for that show that was I I used to watch all the time, I'm behind. I haven't watched any of season three, so I'm completely behind. I I I, I only know that Jack Black's in it. That's that's all I remember. And Lizzo. That's right. And Lizzo. Um. But. I'm horrible at watching these shows, and it's so strange because I used to be pretty good at... I, I, I don't want to brag, but aside from maybe my older sister, I think I was the one that sort of started with the whole binging phenomena, just because I was young and I watched a lot of media pretty, like, quickly. So... Hold on, I, I need to collect my thoughts on this. I thought of another example. I thought of another good example of how behind I am on media. Stranger Things season four, if I'm correct, when I was recording this, exactly a year ago, finished or released. I don't remember what it exactly said. But it was fully out and you could fully watch it. And I still have not seen it. And I love that show. I watched it all the way through, I think, twice. And it's awesome. But I still haven't seen the new season, and I don't know when I'm going to get to it. But I realized this recently, so I sort of steeled my will, and I've, I have started just making myself watch the shows that I want to watch. And I thought it would kind of kill the enjoyment. It hasn't, surprisingly. I've, I've been really loving being able to watch the shows because... I, I always felt like kind of bummed out whenever I'd never finished. So like I, I'm a huge fan of the Hannibal series, which is one of the shows I'm, I'm watching again recently. Um, and I when I was watching it, I was watching it a little bit today, and I realized how much I did indeed enjoy it. Um, but I got all the way up until like halfway finished with the fifth season, and then never finished it just never never even thought to go back for some reason and the same thing happened with the i think the exorcist series and the bates motels i i realize i watch a lot of horror series that's weird um but i do that with so many series and it, it sucks but now i'm i'm getting back into it so i've put i put together a list of the things i did want to like i was like yeah i'm gonna watch this like i you know um and I put together three shows from each streaming service, minus like one that I'm not like serious about watching, uh, or two um, from each streaming service. And so, like for HBO, I picked Succession, which I've never seen, Barry, which I've never seen, and The Sopranos, which I watched I think half of season one and then stopped. Um, so I'm going back and starting it all over. Um, and then for Amazon, I picked Fleabag, which I started watching a, f a while ago and I never went back. And Louder Milk, which was one that I, I liked because it was sort of, it was fun. It was, I had a good time watching it. Um, but I started watching it and then I never went back to it, even though I, I enjoyed it. And I found it actually quite inspirational for writing for some reason. Um, and then I didn't pick another one from Amazon yet, but I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out at some point. Um, then Hulu. Hulu's a big one because I've been watching a lot of Hulu recently. So I'm going to watch The Bear, which I've been really wanting to watch. And I've started and I've enjoyed it a lot. Hannibal, which I mentioned earlier, but it's still the case that I am, you know. And oh, what was the third one? I always I keep forgetting this one specifically. Oh, what was I watching on Hulu? Damn, okay. I will find out, um, but I'll keep just talking. Um, and then Netflix, I'm going to watch Maniac, which is one that I watched like the first half of the first episode and loved and then never went back and watched it again. 
and see, Stranger Things season four, of course, because I have to go and watch that. Um, and then, what was the third one? I didn't pick a third one for Amazon, or for, for Netflix. Jesus. Sorry, I'm having a really brain rot day, you know. So for Hulu, I'm watching Hannibal, The Bear, and Dave. That was the third one, the one with Lil Dicky. And I'm loving that one recently. Um, I'm also watching It's Always Sunny, which I also love, I think is hilarious. And I've, so I've gotten past the point of not in like, of starting it and then stopping it. I think I'll actually be able to finish it this time, which is a good feeling. And then I think I want to watch the Eric Andre show and Atlanta. I want to watch so many things. That's what I love about media. I want to watch so many things. And it's like, it's like, holy shit. This guy is a media freak. And I am. I love it. Um, and it's not even to mention all the movies I'm watching. I'm doing my 365 days of movies. I've been doing really good recently. I watched Apocalypse Now last night. And it was fucking awesome. I said a few words about it on my letterbox, but since I haven't been able to really sit down and write anything else, I don't want that to be the thing I show off. Um, I watched 2001 A Space Odyssey recently, which was awesome. Two, um, two really good movies. Did those, did those come out around the same time? No, I thought they did. Weird. Anyways, um, I wa I rewatched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Always a good time. I love that one. That one's a great one. It's such. It's give me. It makes me want to enjoy the thought of like working in the movie industry, which is, of course, if you know me, is something I, 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 I'm pushing towards. I think. I, I, I don't know. It's hard to, it's hard to call, but I watched. Oh, that's one I wanted to talk about recently, um, was David Byrne's True Stories. Um, I thought that one was super, super fun. It was really unique, and it felt very reminiscent of a sort of... It felt sort of akin to something that Wes Anderson would direct. It's very quirky. It has unique characters. It has his like, self-insert, which is literally himself because he's in it, but... I love just the whole concept of the movie. It was it's it's set around it's a small town in Texas where they're about to celebrate its centennial something centennial and it's all convergent on a parade and a talent show and it's it's really really awesome. I I, I loved it a lot. I have the Criterion Collection uh, copy of that, which oh I watched Manhunter recently. Speaking of Manhunter, so Manhunter is based on Red Dragon by, ah, shit, what's his name? It's by the same person who wrote um, Silence of the Lambs, like the whole Hannibal Lecter series. Speaking of which, I'm reading Tom Harris. I think it's Tom Harris who wrote um, Red Dragon. Okay, let me name all the books. Red Dragon, um, Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, Thomas Harris, that's his name, and Hannibal Rising. And I have watched, I have now officially watched almost all, almost, not counting the Hannibal TV series fully, but almost all of the Hannibal Lecter media. And that's including Manhunter, Red Dragon, Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, and Hannibal Rising, and then the Hannibal show, but that's not finished yet, technically. Um, but I think it's my favorite sort of world of media because i think it's all super good minus um hannibal rising which was a piece of shit uh, that that was the worst one and that might be the worst movie i've ever seen but i don't want to give it the credit it deserves um i did go and on my letterbox i ranked all the films and technically the series so first off Best thing is Silence of the Lambs, a movie. It's unbeatable. I, I, I don't think you could really, you know, it can't be helped. Um, and 
technically, if I were to put it, if I were to be able to rank Hannibal with all the other Hannibal Lecter things, um, I would put the series in between one and two. It would be in second place in a perfect world. I, I, I think that Mads Mikkelsen and Sir Anthony Hopkins both really bring something different to the character. You know what? Including Brian Cox, because that's a, that's a role that technically he pioneered because it was it's the first one because that manhunter came out in 1986 sound of the lambs was freaking 1991 i'm you know um but i i think the series really does something impressive and i hope i hope to god because they were leading up to it i hope they do red dragon all of the cast i hope they all return because they're all great i would love to see i i think they're both they've all sort of aged into the roles too because you know they're all sort of older mads mickelson isn't the perfect smooth skin guy he was this is as attractive as he is you know can't be helped um i would love to see what they do with the red dragon story because it could be really really good because it'll it would sort of cap off the i I'm pretty sure they said they wanted to do Silence of the Lambs. I, and I think they re- acquired the right. I, and I pray to God they did. Wow. I, did, I just typed in Silence of the Lambs on my phone. It did not go well. Um, I, I just think it's because I'm reading them. Uh, that's, that's the main point that I was trying to make. I'm reading the Hannibal Lecter series. I am about to finish Red Dragon. I was burning through it the other day because I'm getting to the climax, and that's sort of when you really start flipping the pages, you're, the anticipation sort of deal. Um, but I do want to point out, I was looking this up. I just looked it up that, yes, the the showrunners do have plans for a Silence of the Lambs miniseries, which would be really cool, but I want to see them do Red Dragon because I think that's my favorite story. I think the whole the whole concept is my favorite because it's Will Graham coming back into the fold before the sort of end protagonist Clary Starling comes into the other ones, but enough talking about... Um, let's talk about Hannibal Lecter. Let's talk, let's talk some other things I've been watching recently. Um, I know that... I've been playing a lot recently. That's that's something I can talk about. I, I I don't play a lot of video games as much anymore as composed to as opposed to when I was yeah back in back in my heyday, you know. But I've been playing two games. That was my water bottle closing, by the way. I had to take a sip of my juice, my dodo juice. Um, I had been playing Breath of the Wild. And Jedi Fallen Survivor, or Jedi Survivor Fallen Order, f- Fart, whatever the most Jedi Survivor, the Jedi Survivor, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, whatever the fucking name is. I've been loving that one. I've really been enjoying both of them, and they both bring a lot to the table. Um, I don't want to get too much into video game talk, maybe. Um, but um, the, the whole, s- the feeling that I get from playing Breath of the Wild, I had that feeling when I was playing recently it was the same as when I was playing Breath of the Wild for the first time. And it was really weird Um, because I'd been playing this already for two weeks, but it was when I got, I've had to take it slow because I've been busy. Um, I had to get the parachute. And as soon as I got it, and as soon as I was gliding around with my little parachute that I hadn't had since the beginning of the game, and I started using it again, I was like, ooh, I got that excited feeling that sort of, the, the anticipation in, in my gut because I was like, I knew it was going to be that super fun game that I was hoping for because I was worried, you know? I was worried for the game. It, it took so long, understandably so, and none of us realized what they were actually going to do with the whole thing. But I, I love it. I, I got to say it. I'm, I'm a huge fan. Um, I think currently Breath of the Wild is still my favorite. Because that's such a unique experience that's super hard to replicate, even though they did their best and they got pretty fucking close. But I love it. I think it's awesome. I think, I, I, I don't know who the insane person was that came up with the whole physics system and the, the, the sticking and the gliders and the fans and the vehicles building things. It's like, who, who came up with that? And goddamn, are they getting paid well? 
Because this is the kind of thing that you know you got to get paid well for. Especially if you're the genius behind it. Who the, who, who the hell did uh, Legend of Zelda? Who's the Legend of Zelda guy? Is that... Uh, is it Miyamoto? Who the hell... Who the hell made it... Le- Alright, let me look it up. Legend of... Zelda. Don't spell it actually like that, dumbass. Um, yeah, Shigeru Miyamoto. I don't know why I thought it was someone else. Maybe I was thinking of... Who the fuck made other things that... Uh, the guy that made uh, Earthbound? Who's that? I don't even know. I've never played Earthbound either, so... But I think I can. I think I had... Uh, what was it? Earthbound's the one that's on the little um, SNES Classic, which is which I have. Um, didn't get the NES Classic, but SNES was no problem. Snurple something whatever um that's my attempt at humor it's not it's not going well um but i hope you're enjoying so far um i've been sort of just sitting here i've been wanting to to try something like this for so long um and i'm still working at the kinks i i only have one microphone right now and it's a it's like one of those newscaster clip ones that you put on your collar um I'm just, I attached to some chest hair right now. I put a shirt on uh, during one of my pauses. Um, it's clipped on there. But what's the deal with airline food? <laughs> <coughs> oh, shit. Um, what's the deal with Max? The HBO of Max to change, changing to Max. Why? I, I can understand. So uh, what... I've gleaned from it is because they had a bigger catalog because of their merger with Discovery and all of their properties. Properties? What the fuck? Properties. Um, and what am I trying to say here? It, 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 it warranted making a whole new app, apparently, and a whole new st- quote-unquote streaming service. But the funniest thing, and the people that it, I've, I've been seeing people roast it, obviously, because it's a strange strange decision to make when hbo max was i I liked it more and i liked the purple i like the blue but the blue kind of seems like a phony blue not the the warm ambient sort of glowy purple hbo max the virgin max versus the chad hbo max like comment and subscribe for that one um but I've been checking out the catalog, and there's a lot of things that I didn't realize were on there. Did they take some stuff from Hulu? Because I saw Kitchen Nightmares on Hulu, and I swear to God, I also saw it on Max now. I know that Max has uh, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. I think I saw it on there because I'm a big Triple D head. I actually live near um, a place that was on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. And I think my older sister is, too, in Idaho. No, Utaho. That's why, the, that's why I go there so much. You, hey, you never see somebody from somebody going to Idaho making more videos than me, you know? Although I could have made another one. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm working on a few videos right now from what, the time of recording. Um... And I'm working on my... Vi- so I've been having a lot of trouble with the space on my computer because of how long and how much data the takes it takes up on the computer. Um, but it's sort of causing problems because it's so big and it's so much data that it's taking up all the space and I can't even export a video. I, I've been tempted to chop... Um, the Vegas video in half from where I am right now and then deleting all the footage from my computer for the first half and uploading and putting the second half stuff on it, editing it and then exporting that and maybe even doing a, a third, three parts just so I can piece it together in iMovie once they're all done and then export it as one but I it's so frustrating um, I been considering trading in my laptop for a better one a newer one a new macbook because i'm using a macbook currently except for the fact that i would only get like 400 dollars for my laptop at apple and a better one than mine 
is almost two thousand more dollars than that so not really going well on that front but i love my laptop it's a gift from the parentals my ma and pa um when i was going off to school doing my little school thing you know i'm a cute little school boy <laughs> can't be helped um but it's 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 just I wish I could figure out how to more efficiently use my space. Let's just say it, say it like that so I don't sound like I'm a, a whiny little biatch. Couple of biatch haunch, 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 um, and Encino, Encino, California. Um, Hello, Encino! <laughs> Fucking stupid. I'm referencing friggin' Spongeboob. That's so crazy. Um, but... I think we're, we're like 13 minutes in. It's good shit, you know. Um, I'm enjoying the time we've been spending so far. It's been lovely. Um, and I wanted to ask the audience that I don't have yet a question. I've been curious about this. So why? No. I'll ask a different one. That was a stupid one. I was going to say, why are all the streaming services blue now? And with H the the artist formerly known as HBO Max, uh, Prime, and Disney, which are all blue. Um, they're all a different blue, though. Isn't that weird? It, 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 I'm rambling now. But what is your favorite streaming service? Now, I think there's a lot of correct answers to this. There's a few that aren't, and the, that's it, it's Amazon. They got a couple of good shows and a couple of good movies, but sadly they're heavily outweighed by all the really shitty movies that are on there filling up the service. I wouldn't know. I watched one. I remember... I watched one a few weeks ago. I'll watch a lot of shitty movies so I can fill out my year's worth because it's hard to watch a lot of good movies because you, you feel like you can't give them this time in the spotlight. But I have also watched every Wes Anderson movie in a day, and I love him, so what's the deal? But I watched one. Where is it? I watched, it's the shittiest movie with the shittiest name. And I remember because... One of the people who are connected to the movie commented on a review that I did. I remember because I was so shocked at the fact that it actually had occurred. Um, not my bloody Valentine. That one's pretty shitty though. The remake, not the not the new one. It's not Shudder. That one was also really bad. I should have just watched the original version of it. No. I swear to God, I got I got a comment on the damn thing. No, weird. But yeah. So it was called like Murder in Butthole Mansion or some shit like that. Um and I reviewed it really poorly. I think I put like one and a half stars. So not great. No, not even one and a half stars. A half star, which you're allowed to do on this app, which is really great. Or you can just not give any stars. But even if they're shitty, I got to give them at least something. Uh, but what, what was I talking about? Amazon, right. And their shitty fucking filler shit. I, how many really good shows do you know that came from Prime Video? The Boys, that's one. Uh, uh, what do they got? The Marvelous, what's her name? The Outer Range. That's, that's, that's a, those are okay. And, but I will say, they got a good catalog of good things. That's, that's one thing I can really give to them. But I, I got to put my hat in the ring. I think I like Max the most. I, I, weirdly enough, I... I'm surprised that that is the case, but it's it just has a lot of really good stuff. They have a Turner Classic Movies section, which is awesome because there's so many good movies that are on there. They have all of the Studio Ghibli stuff, of which I've seen all of the Studio Ghibli stuff except for Earwig and the Witch, but I don't think I plan to watch that. Hey, I'm excited about the new movie coming out. What was it? Uh, it's, it's a weird title for... What's going to be an animated kids movie, basically. What was it? How Do You Live? That's it. How Do You Live is the name of that one. 
Um, I'm excited. I don't think it's coming out. It's coming out in Japan this year. I don't think we're going to get it for another year because I don't know what they're going to, how long of a translation is going to take to make, but whatever. You know, we'll, we'll live and let die. Like, good. Like Jimmy Bond says. Speaking of Jimmy, Jimmy Buffett, I've been banging some Jimmy Buffett recently. I, I don't know what it was. I had a really great day. I, like, really early on in the day, I, real, I knew it was going to be a really great day, and I was getting that, like, kind of bright feeling you get in your chest. Um, so I started listening to Jimmy Buffett to sort of accelerate that mood because it was it was a good one. And then when I started listening to Jimmy Buffett, it made it even better because it's, it's really just banging music. I, I can't help but say it's it hits. It hits hard. It hits different. It's... I what album was it? I was listening. It was the. Uh, it was like a compilation album of all his of all his good songs. Let me see if I can find it. Scroll through my yeah it's songs you know by heart. Jimmy Buffett, Cheeseburger in Paradise, Son of a Son of a Sailor, Margaritaville, Changes in Latitude, Changes in Attitude, One a Week at Drilling, Pencil Thin Mustache, and Volcano. Speaking of which, I can tell a story about when I was younger. So, at some point, I don't know why. My family went to Vegas when I was, ooh, how old was I? I was young. It was, oh God, I don't know. I don't remember most of it. So I don't remember most of my childhood because I've had brain trauma. But um, I just remember two things, two distinct things from Vegas from when I was younger. First one was this specific pool. It was a lazy river type pool and it was awesome. And I was going around it for like hours in that day. And I had a blue inner tube that I would push down in the water so I could see clear underwater from like outside the water. Cause it was like that clear blue, you know what I mean? Um, and it was really, really cool. Um, and the second thing I remember was when we went to Margaritaville where they have that volcano, I was so scared of it. Oh my God, it was the scariest thing ever to me. I remember the fear I felt is not fear that I have felt often enough in my life. I say often enough like I want to, I don't. I'd rather not feel that scared. I've only ever felt that scared again when I, what was I doing? Nothing worth remembering, apparently. So, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's a that's just that's just one fun story from my childhood. You're gonna get. Speaking of which, um, the time I'm recording this, it's Tuesday, and it's May Tuesday, May thirtieth, um, and I'm going to be home in a few days, where I'm going to record a podcast with my family as a special second episode. I'm deciding if I want to do it with. Um, the camera, like if I want to record it. Only problem is that camera can only record for like 22 minutes before shutting off, which is really fucking lame. Um, and I hope I can find a way around it, but I think it's a heating issue, not much of anything else. So I'm like, oh, well, whatever. I, it's sort of lame, but you, you deal, you know, you deal. But I'm thinking thinking of a number drop it in the comments below uh, but i wanted to talk about the conspiracy against me <laughs> um actually i did want to talk about chipotle now i was thinking about chipotle recently i been hankering for some chipotle i'm not gonna cap i'm not gonna wrap cap on that um but God, I could go for one of them bowls right now. I get a really weird order from Chipotle. Um, I get I get beans, rice, and meat. I get the carnitas, um, white rice, and brown or black beans. Doesn't matter, preferably brown. Um, and I devour that shit. I devour it. I I, I really want one because it's that good. It's 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 something. It's a concept. Oh. It's a concept I like to call slop. I'll get into get into slop in a minute, um, but 
why did I start talking about Chipotle? I'm not going to cap. Um, I, I do not remember why I started talking about Chipotle. So, I don't remember why I started talking about Chipotle. I'm not going to lie. To be 100% honest right now, I don't remember why. But, I do remember that I started talking about slop. Now, those of you who know me have known my tales of sloppery. <laughs> I wish I never said that word, but it's out there. It's too late. Um, but this concept I like to call slop, and I've gotten agreement on this, is that dudes love to eat slop. And I, it sounds gross, I'll admit, but this is a... I use slop in a loving term because it's the best bowl of whatever you're going to get. So the whole concept, it's like fried rice. It's just shit mixed together into a bowl. It doesn't have to be with rice. It can be nacho. I consider nachos sort of like slop. It's too angular to be slop though, right? And like soup, a good soup is slop because it's it's just a bunch of shit mixed together. I, it's y- you love a bowl of fried rice. You love a bowl of mixed veggies. You love a fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. It's simple. It's 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 just, that's all I'm trying to get at. You know, it's just that's, that's all I'm trying to get at. It's Steve O. <laughs> um, my shitty Steve O impression. I used to be able to do a really really killer Mickey Mouse impression. So this was probably it was sometime around either my freshman or sophomore year of high school. Um, we had gone to Disney, Disneyland. We got to Disneyland. And I was just pranking people left and right. What I would do, I, I'd be in line, right? And I would just subtly kind of, I'd kind of throw my voice into the distance. You, you know, it's like you, you kind of project it further. And for some reason, it sounds like it's further away. I, I, I don't know my thinking there, but whatever. Um, so I'd throw my voice and I'd be like, oh boy, it's Mickey. I just can't do it anymore. Damn. It's really sad that I can't do it anymore. But I would I would do a Mickey Mouse impression. And they'd be like, oh, Mickey. And they'd be like, hey, honey, Mickey's nearby. We just heard him. You know? You know? It's, it's funny. It's all that can be said. It's, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a funny guy. I call me a mushroom. Because I'm a fun guy. That was my water bottle closing again. I had a sip of dodo juice. Don't ask why I'm calling it dodo juice. I'm not going to tell you. You don't deserve to know. Ha ha ha. Loser. <laughs> um, but I'm having a pretty killer night. I've just been chilling. I've been doing my thing. So I thought I'd, you know, I'd, I'd chill out and chit chat with the, with nothing with nobody there's nobody around sadly um maybe hey maybe next week if the family wants to come by and do it come by like i live far from them if my family wants to do it it's my younger sister's graduation she's going into eighth grade she's going into high school Ugh. and it's scary i i i I don't know if my younger sister's gonna be listening to this. She probably won't listen to the whole thing. Hey, shit! It might even like it might even lull her to sleep. It's like it's like asthma. It's like asthma. Asthma. A S M R. A S A P. R E S P E C T. A B C one two three. Anyways, God, this dude's insufferable. He's gotta shut the hell up. I made a little uh, edit like that in my new video, my new Las Vegas video. Do I want to talk about Vegas? Maybe we'll talk about Vegas with the family. See, I'm like, I'm like building this this sort of cinematic universe with teases. I'm teasing the next one. God damn! I'm like, call me Marvel the way I'd be teasing my my content. You know? I love doing that. You know? I might have thought about that. I'm closing my drink. I got Dodo juice again. Talking for a long time is weird. Talking for a long time is kind of difficult. Um, I'm starting to get to that point where I'm like counting down the time and I'm like, damn, have I been doing it this long? Is it, is, you know, I don't even know how long I've been. Almost 20 damn minutes, god damn. That's how good I am, what can I say? You know, that's, I was aiming for, uh, you know what? I was aiming for 20 minutes and I've hit 20 minutes, but I'll go for a few minutes longer just to, to please the masses because I know that they're gonna really enjoy this one. 
God bless. Um, you know what I've been really having a kick for recently? And I don't know why. But it's Rocket Pops. You know, the red, white, and blue ones? You see them on the side of the, side of the bus that uh, drives by with the ice cream. Ice cream bus? You guys know him? You've met that guy? No, it doesn't matter. Um, speaking of which, I've got a weird ice cream truck story to talk about. So, I'm back in California, right? It's 7 o'clock at night. It's dark out. It's, like, dark, dark out. It's not, like, post-sunset dark, that sort of dusky, dusk... Is it dusk? I guess it's dusk. That that dark, kind of gloomy kind. It's it's dark, dark. It's like feels like Halloween dark. That's also another weird part of it. It was very strange. But who was there? It was my family, minus my mom, all sitting around watching something on the TV when I hear something. And this this was super confusing to me. I hear just like a jingle in the distance. You you know that you re- you can recognize it when you're young. It, think about it from when you're younger. You're waiting for the ice cream truck, and then you finally hear it come by, and now you're like, "Oh my God, he's here!" And you hear him coming, and then you're like, "Okay, here we go." This now this is pod racing. Um, but it's like seven o'clock at night. It's dark out. Is this is this usual? I certainly don't think so. But I'm like, pause the pause the show, pause the movie, whatever we're watching. And I'm, and I'm like, shh, shh, shh. and then we, he, I, everybody kind of leans forward, and then they start hearing it too. And I'm like, no way that that's the ice cream truck. And then we hear it pull down our street, and we're like, shit, we gotta get ice cream, cause duh. You're going to get ice cream, even though we had already gotten it earlier in the day because another ice cream guy came by. What? That was a weird day. Two ice cream guys in one day? I, I'm hardly believing it now myself, just reminiscing on the story. What the fuck? That's so peculiar. You, I, you never see two ice cream men in one day? That's ludicrous. That's got to be some sort of rich kid activity, you know? Shit. Sorry, we paid the ice cream guy to get the fuck out here so we could have a little juice. A little dodo juice like I'm about to sip on right now. Um, but you know, I would love for whoever's stuck around this long to throw some comments below of topics that you might want me to talk about. And maybe recommend some movies, recommend some music. I could do like a live commentary sort of deal. Where I, I I listen to the thing at the same time while I'm recording my my thoughts. That'd be super cool. Maybe I'll do that. You know, look forward to that. Um, but you know, I'm sort of. I think that's it. I think that's it for the first uh, the first podcast. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, have a good rest of your day, night, or wherever you're listening to this whenever you're listening to this and see you later i guess have uh have a good one